I need you to go ahead and turn your Bible. Uh, I want you to go to Roman, amen, the 10th chapter. We're going to come out of the book of Roman this morning, the 10th chapter. Uh, uh, I don't know, I've been searching God's will for this people, amen. Uh, let that be light. Somebody go ahead and turn the lights. They should have been on before we got started. Hallelujah. Thank you. Amen. But uh, I'm feeling in my spirit, amen. Uh, salvation is very important. Amen. And I want to tell you something. Uh, the devil is not concerned, does not want you to be saved. And he'll do anything he can to make you think you are saved. Right. Hallelujah. Uh, we're talking this morning uh, about uh, uh, the devil wants us to just mix and mingle. Amen. Uh, don't really matter what you believe. As long as you believe in God, some kind of way, just come together. Amen. But the Bible says, how can to walk together except they agree together. Amen. 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 That's right. Hallelujah. So we need to know and understand it. Amen. What is salvation? Right. Amen. Amen. Uh, the 10th chapter, uh, Roman verse 1, I'm going to read it for you. Uh, Paul uh, speaking to the church in Rome concerning Israel. Right. Amen. Salvation. Paul said, brethren, uh, my, my prayer is and desire. Let me, let me get it because I want to give it to you uh, like it's written. Amen. Uh, you, you, you need to see it coming out of the word of God. Amen. Amen. If you get it, say amen. amen. You found it already. Amen. But uh, I'm, I'm not in a hurry this morning. I just want to... Uh, Take my time and impart to you the word of God. Brother, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. Amen. 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 See, Israel was, was not saved because they didn't believe uh, that Jesus was the ultimate sacrifice. They were still caught up into the Mosaic law, the sacrifice of lambs and 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 doves and calves and uh and uh and but when Jesus came on the scene when John saw his his first cousin he said behold the lamb of god which taketh away the sins of the world amen but Paul speaking to the church in Rome said my prayer and heart's desire is that Israel will be saved right right he said, for I bear them records. See, I, 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 I'm, I'm a Jew too. See, Paul, Paul said he's, he's, he's just like them. So I, I, I'm a living witness. I bear right. them records that amen. they have a zeal, amen, of God. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. But not according to knowledge. They just simply don't know what they are doing. Right, amen. He said, I'm a living witness. I had that same zeal, uh, amen. I proposed had a zeal that was so, amen, high till he was persecuting the church because he believed that anything that outside of what he knew was, amen, need to be annihilated. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, you know, they get physical, amen. Uh, back in those days, they got physical. Amen. Wasn't just spiritually killing you, they was literally killing you. Amen. James' head cut off Stephen Stone to death. Right. Amen. Amen. Over in the ourselves, the Islamic State, amen, they serious about their religion. Amen. Anything that wasn't, didn't believe what they believed, they killed them. They cut them off, cut the head off. Mercy. Now, mercy. All this thing here, amen. What's going on over there is spreading its way slowly but surely, amen, Jeez. making its way to the United States. Amen. You just hold on. That's why you got to know what it is, that right. why it is, and what you serving. You got to know that you're saved. Amen. You got to know that it is what it is, and there's nothing else worth, amen, dying for. Amen. Right. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. And all, I'm going I'm to help you this morning, but uh, he said, I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge, for they are being ignorant of God's 
uh, righteousness having it gone about to establish their own righteousness. Right. And have not submitted to the righteousness of God. There's a lot of people that think that they're saved and they're simply lost. Amen. Amen. Because they have not been born again according to the scriptures. Now what they have done, they have gone into the Bible and they have picked the scripture here and there and they just took it, amen, and they just made up a formula. Let me share with you this moment. I want to tell you this first of all, that everybody is not, amen, the children of God. Amen. Somebody, we didn't, we didn't, we had, we had to go get that this morning. Not everyone is a child of God. Right. Amen. Even if everyone believes in God, they still everyone is not a child of God. Amen. Amen. Because you can't Amen. believe like you want to believe. You got to believe on him as the scripture has Amen. said. Amen. Lord have mercy. Amen. Now I want you to turn in your Bible to Amen. First John. Amen. That's in the back of the book. Amen. First John 3 and verse 10. I want to show you this here because see, see, the devil have caused many to mix and mingle. Amen. Together, amen. To form a coalition, amen, of belief. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, if you get that wide reading for me, I want you to get fancy with this Bible. Is this the children of God are Now, uh, Roma, I mean, I, I, First John 3 and 10 say, in this, the children the of God children are of God are manifest. And the children of the devil. Oh, there's two kind of children. And the children of the devil. Amen. Amen. Give this thing to his sister. She's struggling over Let's get her. Let's go. Get that to her. Amen. Back in the back of the book. Hallelujah. I want you to see this here. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Anybody that's got it already got your finger on, you need to pass it back. Hallelujah. Amen. Now you see why it's so important that you read your word, amen, so you amen. can find scriptures and know where they are. Hallelujah. Boy, in this, read it again, wife. In this, the children of God Boy, are manifested. in this, the children of God are manifested. And the children of the devil. And the children of the devil. Mercy. So you got two kinds of children here. You got children of God. Right. And you got children of the devil. And you see people say we all are children of God. We oh, all no. you ain't. Yo, you you be born, you got to be born again. Right. Amen. Amen. It's gotta be scripture. Now I'm gonna go and kill another spirit that's been out there. Now, they teach us a word called if you accept the Lord Jesus as your personal savior, you are saved. You've heard that all your life. That is no scripture that supports that. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. There's nothing. That is a formula that made by man. All you have to do is accept the Lord Jesus as your personal Savior. And let me tell you something. You do need to accept the Lord Jesus as your personal Savior. Amen. But that doesn't make you saved. That's an introduction to a, a perpetual walk with God. That is a perpetual mean a continuous walk with God. Right. Amen. 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 Doing his will. Let him lead and guide you. But you has to be born again first in order, amen. So, so to a now, I want you to go and get. I'm gonna show you the scripture what they read. They read to you, amen, and, and make you think that you are saved. Mm -hmm. Roman ten and nine. Oh Lord, have mercy. Roman ten and nine, and I'm, then I'm gonna take you to where, amen. You need to be born again. Right. I'm going to show you where it all comes together. Hallelujah. It's come together. No. I'm going to teach you this morning. I'm not going to run through this here this morning. Amen. I'm going to take my time so you can learn this here. That's good. Amen. 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 Now, Amen. here's a place where they take you at. Romans 10 and 9. That if thou shalt confess with oh. thy mouth the Lord Jesus. Now, they tell you to make a confession. If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus. And shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead. If you just confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. Thou shalt be saved. Now they just took this formula here and said you ill saved. Hmm. Amen. Just say that you believe in Jesus though. Now you're saved. 
No, 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 no. That's that's a part of it. Amen. We 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 get hung up on a part of it. Amen. And that's all we do. And they don't do nothing else. Amen. They said, well, "Hey, brother." They said, "You know, I got saved last night. You did. What happened?" He said, "Well, I I confessed my sin and I and I accept the Lord Jesus as my personal Savior." And uh and uh and then uh you, you still you still uh, shacking up. Well, yeah, but I'm saved. Are you, are you still uh, you still out on the streets and you're selling your body? Yeah, but I'm saved. I made a confession last night. Mercy. Hallelujah. Well, that's that's because you have not been converted. Right. Amen. Let me tell you something. Peter, the apostle Peter, amen, before he was converted, he was a cussing man. He was a cussing man. Amen. He will cut your head off. Amen. And, and Jesus said that to him, he said, Simon, Simon, let me tell you something. He said, Satan has desired to have you that he may sift you as sweet. He said, Simon, Satan desired to have you. He asked me so he can have you, so he can take everything out of you that I put in you. He wants to sift you as sweet. He said, but you know what, Simon? I prayed for you. Jesus said, I prayed for you that your faith fail you not. Amen. Now, then he goes to the next step. He said, but when you are converted, you strengthen the present. Amen. See, even though that disciple was called of God, the apostles, they were not saved. They had to go to Jerusalem until the day of Pentecost and be saved. Amen. So he said, now, I pray for you, but when you are converted, you strengthen the brethren. But I want to tell you something, Peter. Peter said, now, I got to, Jesus said, I got to go. He said, now, he said, uh, Peter, look, let me tell you something, man. You boy, hey, man, but three times you're going to deny me. Yeah. And the cock going to crow three times you're going to deny me. Hmm. But I'm going to save you, though. See, people said, I wonder why you know you know what? <laughs> well, Peter cursed out Peter was not saved. Amen. He was not saved. He, did, he was not saved. He needed to be converted. Right. And once he got saved, amen, when Jesus come in, cursing come out. Amen. Jesus in garbage out. Right. When you you get washed, when you get when the Holy Ghost come in and wash you out, scrub you out, all that foolishness come out. Hmm. Amen. You can't have two of them in there at one time. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord, somebody, somebody go get me six, uh, amen, first Corinthians six and 19, Lord have mercy. See, your body, your, your body don't belong to you. Right. Amen, if you're saved, if you're a child of God, it's not yeah. your, yeah, this ain't yours. You can't do what you want to do with it. You can't do like you want to do right. with it. Amen. amen. Hallelujah, you can't give amen. it to who you want to give it to. Hallelujah. Amen, you can't share yourself with who you want if you're born again. Amen. Amen. It belongs to God. Oh, you there? Somebody else, Amen. read it for me. Read it. Read what? it. For me. Wait, no, you not. No. What do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost? That your Ghost? body belongs to the Holy Ghost? It's the temple of the Holy Ghost? Read on. Which is in you. If you got the Holy Ghost in you, your body don't belong to you. Come on, read. Read. 19. Read on. Which ye have a God. And ye are not your own. You are not. You mean you thought you was your own. When you saved. No. 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 When you saved. You gave yourself away. The song said I give myself away. Amen. You give yourself away. Amen. To be used of God. Oh that person. Amen. I had to get. I couldn't. I couldn't get. I couldn't have them as a girlfriend. Amen. I, I had to let them go. When Jesus saved me, I dropped them all. Hallelujah. I had already dropped them, but uh, I really dropped them then. Hallelujah. Praise God. I'm going to leave that alone. I ain't going to go into my whole life too much. Amen. I'm going to leave that dirt back there in the, in the, in the, in the dirt pile. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> going on. Come on, come on, come on, Reed. For ye are bought with a price. You have been purchased with a price. Therefore, therefore, glorify God in your body. Glorify God in your body. Somebody say, God ain't interested in your body. He just wants your heart. Uh, this ain't what the word is saying. That's somebody that's want to do what they want to do. Mm -hmm. Amen. So I got a good heart, but I just do bad things. 
No, no. The Bible says, out of the heart flows the issue of life. Amen. As a person thinks in his heart, so is he. Amen. Amen. You, you, your heart, that, that's got to be a heart transplant. Amen. To make this thing work. Lord, have mercy. I feel the Holy Ghost right now. Amen. Amen. I'm about to run about of here. Lord, have mercy. Amen. You, 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 you. Amen. When you get a grip on this thing, you, oh, Lord, have mercy. Somebody give me Ezekiel 36 and 26. Why? Wow, get it. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord, have mercy. There's something about when God comes into your life, there's a change going on. Amen. People ain't going to understand it. They ain't going to like it. They ain't going to be able to put up with it. Amen. They don't want to see you change. They want you to stay in punish. Amen. Hallelujah. But when the Son of Man set you free, you are free indeed. Hallelujah. Amen. You are a brand new creature in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Everything different. You start looking different. You start walking different. You start Amen. talking. When I used to walk like this here. Amen. Ah, Lord have mercy. Like I had something when you get the money. Amen. I just start walking. How y'all doing? Y'all all right? Go down and steal all that little stuff. Oh. And you know, and when Jesus come in, you you just you, my pastor you said all oh, he said you women don't think you cool neither. No, you know, I'm talking about you brothers now, but uh, don't thank you all that. But uh, you know, if you you put more uh, uh, motion going forward, you'll get somewhere still. Though. Some of you just can't help it because it's, you, you you just got it. It's just a part of you. But then the others you just trying to shake it till you break it. Oh, Lord. Lord have mercy, now. Nice. No, oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, you better read and get me out of this here. Come on. A new heart also. Now, now the, the now the word of God said God has to go in and change your heart. David said, created me a clean heart and a right spirit, Lord. I serve you. Create a clean heart and a right spirit. But Ezekiel 36 said, a new heart and a new spirit. And a new Come spirit will I put within you. Within you, we talking about a heart transplant. By the Holy Ghost. Come on. And I would take away the stubborn I, heart out of your flesh. I take that old stubborn, stubborn heart out of your flesh. You know when, when God be trying to talk to you, amen, when you're lost, amen, you stubborn. I don't know how to do it. I ain't going to do it. I don't care. I'm going to get this. I'm going to get mine. Hey, man. Hey, loving you is wrong. I don't want to be right. Hallelujah. Hey, Amen. That old flesh be saying, I'm going to get mine. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. Read. Get me out of here. And I will give you a heart And I of will flesh. give you a heart of flesh. Yes. A heart that can be worked with. Amen. Right. Amen. And then I will what? And I, I will put, put my, my spirit, spirit within you. Within you. Amen. Amen. Take out that old stone heart and put the Holy Amen. Ghost on in you. Amen. 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 Come on, somebody. Amen. Read on. And cause you and, to walk And when in my that spirit statue. come in you, it'll cause you to walk in my stature. Amen. You will do what I say do. And Come on. You shall and you shall my keep my judgment. And Amen. Them. And you shall do them. Amen. Amen. Lord have mercy. See, when the day of Pentecost came, amen, there was a change in the people's life. They amen. were no longer, amen, stubborn. God right. had changed them. Changed. To the point that they was willing to die, to lay down their life. Right. Amen. For Christ. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Oh, Lord have mercy. Let me tell you something. Amen. Peter began to preach. To Amen. Amen. I want you to go to John. Amen. The third chapter. Amen. St. John. St. John. Third chapter. Lord have mercy. Man, that thing don't got God in my guilt by St. John. I like how it was when St. When uh, Nicodemus was out there. Amen. Nicodemus decided he was a ruler of the Jews. He decided to find Jesus alone. He called Jesus all by himself. Right. And when he saw Jesus there by himself at night time, the Bible said there was a man. Y'all reading with me? Amen. There was a man, amen, of the Pharisees named Nicodemus. A ruler of the Jews. The Bible said that same man came to Jesus by, by night Amen. and said to him, Hey, Rabbi, hey, we know that you are a teacher that come from God, for no man can do these miracles except God be with him. Amen. We know that this ministry is out of this world. Right. It's not like any other ministry. Amen. We know that you have to be coming from God, but no man can do these miracles except God be with him. Amen. Jesus said unto him. What he said to him? Amen. Jesus said unto him. Very, 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 very,
are really truly, truly a show enough, show enough, I say unto thee. Except, Except a man be born, a man again, be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. He said, you can't see this here. Because you, you, you can't see this here. Except you are born again, you ain't really going to get this here. You see miracles and you hear the teaching, but until you get in this thing here, right. you'll see it and understand it better. You got to be born again. Right. Amen. You can't see this here because the kingdom of God come not by observation. You can't stand on the outside, amen, looking in, right. amen, and understanding. You got to get all up in here. Right. Amen. amen. Lord have mercy. Oh Lord, you got to, you got to get into this thing here. Oh Lord, you know people. I I seen people all the time say, well, you know, I don't see why you can't do this no more. I don't see why you can't say that no more. I don't see why you can't go over there no more. I don't see why you can't put on this. I don't see why you got to look like this. Then you simply saying, I can't see. Right. I don't see. I don't see this. I don't see because I once was blind, but, but now. now Oh, I see why now I need to close this stuff up here. I don't need to be sagging up here. Now I see why I need to pull these up because I don't need to be sagging down here. Now I see why I need to come on just as I am. Amen. Let God use me. Amen. Come clean before God and let him use you. Right. Amen. We don't know how to be a put on. We don't have to make up nothing. Amen. We come just as we is. Amen. Anything made up ain't real anyway. Amen. Let God, amen, reveal who you really are. Amen. Before you try to love God, you got to love yourself first. Look in the mirror and say, hey, hey, I love you. I don't like your eyes. I don't like your look. But I love you because you've been with me all my life. Yeah. And you will be with you all your life. You will stop with yourself. So learn to love yourself before you expect somebody else to. Amen. Don't waste your money and time trying to please somebody else when you know God loves you first. Right. Amen. You go trying to satisfy and please love them. Amen. You buy a nose. You buy some hip. You buy. You buy all that stuff. Amen. Everybody buy the donkey. Amen. Hallelujah. They sell everything you want to present to on the it's on the market. Amen. Lord have mercy. Oh, you go buy some hair. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, we might need a little of that. We might get a touch up there every now and then. Hallelujah. Oh, I am that I am by the grace of God. Hallelujah. That my brother in law told me, they said, go on, real, cut it off. You need to come on down with us. Come on down. Let it go. Let it go. Amen. When that forehead starts going back, you need to come on, cut it. You need to cut it down. Amen. Come on, look like a brother. Hallelujah. All right. They had their beer cans, drinking, you know. Hey, I go by my folks, amen. Uh, amen. And hey, hallelujah. Hey, amen. I was over there one day, and you know, I had a brother, you know, playing with a knife, hey, amen. He was quick. Brother said something. Oh, hey, the knife by before you know it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I said, boy, put that thing down. He put it down. He said, well, I don't understand. What other person, I don't understand why, hey, amen, when I told you to stop doing it, you wouldn't do it. But when T.D. Jakes told you, then you put it down then. <laughs> I no TD Jackson. <laughs> I told you put that knife up, you wouldn't do it, but oh, but TD Jackson told you put it up. <laughs> Hallelujah. Lord, I get called from everything too. Hallelujah. Don't think you the only one get called something. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Y'all are one lovely group here. Amen. I thank God for you. Hey, each and every one of you. Come on, put your hand together and tell the Lord thank you. Hallelujah, everyone. Amen. 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 Oh, glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Oh, I almost said I got to say it. What I saw, I said a lot this morning. We was we were worshiping, amen. She was coming out there. Lord have mercy, just a little bit longer, amen. She'd have got busted loose. She'd have tore up the place, amen. Just a little while longer, we'd have been singing. She'd have been tore up something around here. Hallelujah. Y'all didn't notice this. Y'all see everything. She started dancing out of now. Oh, have mercy. Look out, uh, Darren. Darren. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, but Nicodemus found Jesus. He came and found him. We're at, amen, amen, 1 John 3. Amen. I was St. John 3 in uh, verse somewhere now. Amen. He found him. Jesus said, except a man be born again, he cannot see this thing here. Right. Amen. amen. You got to come in here and get your eyes open. Hallelujah. You'll start seeing then. Amen. You'll start trusting. You'll start believing God for who you really are. Amen. Amen. Come on, read. Amen. Nicodemus said, Nicodemus unto, him, said unto him, How can a man be born when he is born? Can a man be born 
Again, oh. when he is cool, Nicodemus was thinking logic and reasoning. Amen. Jesus was speaking spiritual. He was on another level. Nicodemus was thinking, now how can I be born again to see what's going on, to really get the understanding of these teachings and these miracles? Uh, can a man be born when he's old? Can he enter the second time into his, into his mother womb and be, and be born? Mercy. Jesus, Jesus answered, and said, Verily, verily, I say, Verily, verily, I mean, except, verily, verily means surely, surely. Right. Uh, show enough, show enough. Be born of except water, the man be born of and water. of the spirit. Of water and of the spirit. He cannot enter into the kingdom of God. He cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Amen. It's necessary that we'll be baptized in water. Right. Amen. Born of the water and receive the spirit. Amen. That's how you're born again. Amen. Amen. You get into the family of God. Amen. Repentance of your sin and baptize in the name of the one that died, Jesus. Right. Amen. And receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. It's not baptized in Father, Son, and Holy Ghost is baptized in Jesus' name. Right. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, amen, is what he is. Right. Jesus is who he is. It's a different than what he is and who he is. Amen. amen. I'm a father. I'm a son. I'm a carpenter. I'm a welder. Amen. amen. I'm a preacher. I'm a teacher. I'm a father. I'm a lover. Amen. I, all that, but my name is not they, none of them. Those are titles of who I am. Right. Amen. Amen. Oh, that's why you will never see it again in the Bible again. Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost only written one time. But Jesus, 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 throughout the New Testament. Amen. And the word said, neither is there salvation in any other. For there is no other name given among men whereby we must be saved but the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of Jesus. Amen. It's all about him. Amen. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Oh, you got to be born again of water and spirit. Now, yeah. come on, give me, give me uh, Acts 2.37. Amen. Jesus. Peter preaching, amen, after he got converted. Lord, have mercy. Peter started preaching. Man, they said, once you were you converted, spent in the brother. I'm right. going to show you what he did. Amen. Are you there? Why? Now, when they heard this. Now, while Peter was preaching the word of God, the Bible said, now, when though they heard they when he were preaching. When I, I, I want to explain heard. When they heard this, amen, when this thing went down into the gills and when it said, <laughs> amen, not, not just like you hear me talking. Now, I'm talking about when it went down in the register. Whoa. When they got an understanding. That's what that means. When they heard this, when it registered. Right. Amen. Amen. They said unto Peter. They were on. pricked in their heart. They were pricked in their heart. That went down and pricked that heart. Right. Amen. amen. Conviction. Amen. That's what happened. Conviction got in their heart. And, and said unto Peter and, and to the and, rest of the and apostles. And he said unto Peter and the rest of the apostles. Men and, and brethren. Men and brethren. They what, asked Peter, the preacher. What, what shall, shall we do? We do. They want to know. They want what can we do to be saved? Then Peter said unto Peter him, said, here's what you got to do. Repent. Repent. And be baptized. That's the first thing. See, that's salvation right there. Now, when you accept the Lord Jesus as a person and Savior, you got to be born again. Amen. You just accept the Lord Jesus as your person and Savior. You ain't saved yet. You just made an introduction to a perpetual walk with God. Amen. Amen. That's a good thing. Hey, else, go ahead and accept the Lord Jesus as a person and Savior. But be born again. Don't stop right there. Right. And that's what many have came short. They just accept the Lord Jesus, person say, and uh, it ain't so impersonal that you can't obey the rest of the scriptures. So read it, Amen. And they were preaching hard. He said, first of all, you need to repent and be baptized, Lord, every mercy. one of you. See that repent mean a whole lot. When you lay that old rotten stinking life down, <laughs> you walk away from it. Amen. Not walk through it. Don't walk to it. Walk away from it. Amen. 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 Lay it down. You can turn it loose. Let it go. Let it go. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen some of the things people get trapped in. They I've seen folks, man, just get wrapped up in, amen, in the system. Amen. 